guys today i will be visiting few places looking to take some photos of abstract landscape and reflection and more last thing i will do is i go eat after i finish i will tell you about tips and techniques i use if you like to join me then let's go This big shopping center, I'm trying to walk to, to the street and see if I can find anything interesting to photograph and hopefully I will be able to see what I can achieve and it's so, okay let's see this one I can it is right here trying to see if I can get this as abstract See this one here, as you can see there's a lot of wires and to the building as well, look at there, so that's what I took a picture of and hopefully I can achieve something for abstract, so keep walking and let's see if I can this one I want your thoughts of the composition in this abstract photo leave a comment please anything interesting to photograph for anything goes for abstract I will be grateful so I'm gonna get to this part of this there so see that's the black and white I can find there so is something different and a lot of uh, abstract obscene that is what I'm looking for to get the abstract photo for it and that's my aim <laughs> find anything interesting 
interesting for that part something abstract uh, interesting looking something different that would be something to look at and see something like this one here they're gonna try to get can you see the shadows and so on that's what I'm looking for and hopefully I can get it right so that's there that's what makes it so interesting to get the shadows and done done now I put it to 18, 16 125 and bang and then what I do I make it in a kind of a frame as well so that's there that's there and that's there so can you guess what inspired me to take this particular abstract photo gives you something of what you're looking for it's wise see this is what I'm trying to find something into these wires what I'm looking for some abstract to something different than a usual photo but I'm trying to find an area where there's people or now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the buildings I wanna get the buildings and people walking but I wanna see or cars moving and <coughs> and I wanna one thing I wanna see the people moving or cars moving and some interesting building I wanna see Okay, I put my camera. 
camera on a tripod first. Because I'm going a light shutter speed. I'm going on lower shutter speed so I need to make sure the cars I'm getting are correctly exposed and and I want very slow motion to have the car to solve. so it's there that way a bit more of the concept and let's check it out and one okay another two there and See how I'm trying to This is what I need. Okay. Alright. So I've got a couple of shots of Okay, so okay. Okay guys, let's go walk around and see what I can find into this this area is just walking, there's a lot of cars and hopefully I can find something. I just kept walking onto this area here. And I want to see what I can find or anything interesting. So it's on a main road and just cars passing by. See, there is something good to photograph. Just walking around. I'm not aiming at anything.
it's nice houses in this area big houses it's a building interesting sometimes when we walk to find something you like something to photograph let's check this one out How does this abstract image make you feel? Share your thoughts, please. And yeah, so interesting enough. see what I can get from all this and hopefully it will be something I can use of <coughs> Bangkok, no, Jamburi, to see if I can find anything interesting for any photographs to take. And that will be This is a nice one, look at the green on this one all the way, all the fence it's green so I, Sometimes you walk for a very long time, but you will see nothing really worth it. End of the day, but it's a learning curve, and sometimes subjects are in front of us. We cannot see it, and sometimes, most of the times, we just look and hey, there it is. So, if it doesn't, for me, if it doesn't strike me for the first time, I won't be struck.
just walking this long street a lot of cars but there is no people only there is a shopping center here and that's what it is and here we see see how they see nothing really interesting in this area and except there's a lot of sun and thank goodness I'm walking on to a shady area there's no sun where I am and uh, yeah this just looks like a bus stop to go to Bangkok and so on and there is the guy who's doing yeah, YouTube and he's finding it interesting in this area here which is good and they say one of the big companies signature yeah so I, I think I go back to see there's not much taking photos of I would go back to the car maybe move on to another place and see if I can find something interesting to take photos of and yeah okay check you later I come to stand here on this area it looks good so what it is is basically going to try to get the reflection and try to get the kind of abstract to it and see how, what we can achieve of course i'm gonna put i put a on this one i put a filter I always use polarized filter and the filter is um, what is it uh, N, N, ND128 and ND8 so and then I work it out uh, how I gonna end up uh, using the filter and how to not to get the reflection uh, you know the sun reflection on the water is so it won't be too harsh for me and then there's there get the mid of this one here as abstract and one two I took usually I take two two three shots and then but then what I do is I will take different angles of it as well so I'm gonna go that way as well and it's 
Day. And bank. And then I will go down like so. I make sure get in the middle of it. I don't gonna take the sky whatsoever because I'm more interested in Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I've got the filter, I will put the ISO to 400 and the, I'm going to put it to F10 and then I want to get the ISO, uh, the speed to 200 or yeah, 250, 200, it's good and I make sure so I can yeah, one is fast. It because the lens I have it's uh, it's 24 105, so I always like to go double the speed, whatever the the uh, camera the uh, lens is, and that's the. So I went now to Okay. So I got to this part. So I'm gonna go direct opposite the sun. So I'm standing against the sun now and you see this is what's going to happen the sun the 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 the, part, the shady area is going to go very black too dark right but it's okay that's what i'm looking for and then i got the sunlight against the water and bank so what I'm going to do, going to make that sunlight there and I go a bit there and I put it this way actually better. Okay, so that's there and bingo, I'm going to close it. Close this area a bit here, make it a bit tighter, and bang, and one there. So I took about 10 shots maybe, and hopefully I can get one I like, and then Okay, so this is what now the other one is like so and bang, beautiful. So that's what I got this time. And let's check it out the area. It's not much in here actually, but <coughs> it's nice here. But then I think there is another area there. Let's go and see what I can find in that other area. Look at that one there. It's, uh, let me check this area here. As let's check it out. All right. Uh, I think I will walk to the reach area and see what we can find there what do you think guys yes all right let's go and rock and roll which of these images would you consider hanging on your wall and why what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a photo of the bridge there hopefully i can see what i can find and 
you see that's a water reflection I like and the bridge there and beautiful and sometimes I go a bit closer even so half a meter or one meter does make different and I like the reflection of the water as abstract it's just something for me uh, something different something gives you that beautiful looking place and then I got to close to the area there and see what I can do there so I take this photo here and look at it up this this there and I make sure there beautiful and then uh, then what I do is take the surrounding area as well as I got this closer to it I make sure the sun the light is not very good and that's the okay so good all right so always change if the lights are not good whatsoever always make sure you get it you get it right and always check so you can go up or down, it's okay. Now we're gonna go to this area here, you see? Okay. Now I think I'm done. Looks good to me. And All right, looking for a support and like share it's not costing you nothing only a click of a button but it does means a lot to me to support me okay guys this I found this here I've gone to this park drive around and I found this park <coughs> and I've got the reflection of all the water and so as you can see there's the dragon and the bridge and there is the sky uh, the clouds and so on so give me a bit of more then I'm, I make sure I put the, my camera on the tripod and I've got it's on F8 and 80 so I've got it in the right position so if I can show you what I'm talking about there is what I found guys there's a dragon reflection on the water and the lantern and so it's with a bit of the clouds and the sky and so on it's all the reflection of the water and that is what I'm looking for 
uh, so I'm gonna keep looking around and I see if I can find anything else to to photograph and worthwhile to show you all right move along have you ever experiment with abstract photography share your experience with us guys Okay guys, we're hungry, we want to eat something and let's see if we can go eat something. I don't know what she wants to eat. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Yeah. So we go sit, eat and sit down and hopefully okay guys we'll be hungry hi hey? you got water there just buy, buy another water so, huh? buy another water okay guys uh, we're hungry we need to eat and uh, then we continue to travel and see where we're gonna go next or are we gonna be tired and we go home but that is a cold water nice water and it's there and personally I would have it That's all right. Why are you sitting? Ah, you've got the dog there. So, okay. Oui, I have eyes. So, let's stay. Hopefully. Hmm. The rice is nice. The shrimp's cooked. Nice, but the spirits, the shrimps are very small. So, looks alright. Tastes alright. And I like a bit of cucumber with it. So it gives you that. That's nice. Every time you have something to eat. With Thai food always you need to taste everything. Some of them is nice, some of them is really not nice, but these ones are good ones. As I enjoy the street food, it's worthwhile. Well, some people they cook it different. Dying. And depend on the area you're going to. This is the last four day. I feel. Then we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs>